everybody. Today we are going to be talking about percents. Percents are an important part of life. You will need to know how to work with them, create percents, um, and and what not. So this is chapter two, and it is lesson nine. Let's learn about percents today. Percents. They are a kind of proportion. It's a nice way to have, it's nice to have percents because it standardizes your proportion to compare everything to the number 100. This makes them more useful. And if you write a percent as a fraction, you can solve it as a proportion problem. Here's what I mean. So you can see that you have the ratio set up here, and you have the percent set up here, and the percent is a kind, is a ratio, and it is, the, t together the two equal a proportion. So what percent of 56 is 42? For example, here's one of your problem types that you're going to encounter. So here I have P over 100, and that equals the ratio over here. Now, 56 represents the whole amount, right? Just like 100 is the whole amount. So what percent of 56? I'm talking about this is the whole amount. Remember that a denominator always is in the bottom of a fraction is always the whole amount. And how much is 42 of this amount? 42, notice that it's not the whole number. It's only the piece of the pie that we're talking about. So now I can solve it just like a, like a, like a proportion, and I can cross multiply and divide. So what, it, what percent of 40 is 2.5? All right, so now I can do that. I can find a percent using the percent equation. I already loaded up the percent equation right here for you. Remember that 40 is the whole amount. That's the B number. 2.5 is just a part of it. So now I simply use my math here. I divide this. This is, a, this is a times problem, so I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide by 40 to get rid of that 40. Then if I divide this side by 40, I must divide the other side by 40. And that equals 0 0.0625 equals the percent. Now here's the, the catch though, you must convert the number. 0 0.0625 is not a percent, it's just the number. If I'm going to put it in percent form, I must move this decimal point two places to the right. So that would mean that my final answer is going to be 6.25%. All right, let's, we have a few practice problems on this, and then I'm going to turn you loose.